Hey guys, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your PS4 to system software version 1.75. You can see that in the upper left hand corner. So, to do this, as always, we're going to update over Wi Fi. We're going to go to the notifications and we're going to go to downloads. And you can see that the system software is ready to download and update my system. And you can view the details. Now, this is kind of a major update um, compared to the previous minor updates. Here you'll see that it finally allows you to play Blu-ray movies in 3D, so 3D Blu-ray movies are supported, so that's great if you have uh, great movies like uh, Avatar or, um, what's another good one, Gravity, uh, that's a good 3D movie. Uh, sound quality has been improved during 1.5 times playback with Blu-ray disc and DVD videos. System messages previously displayed on the top right corner of the screen are now displayed on the top left corner of the screen. Featured content has been Add it to the settings. When this setting is enabled, featured content from the PlayStation Store is automatically downloaded while the PS4 system is either powered on or in standby uh, mode. So those are the change, changes in this update. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit back here and then go to next. And it says it will be updated and restart. So we're gonna hit update. And again, usually the update is pretty quick. Um, just because the PS4 is super fast. So it shouldn't take that long. System software update is going right now. It's installing the update. And of course, just don't touch it. Just leave it alone and it'll do its thing. Oh, and just one more thing. Uh, the actual update is uh, 185 megabytes, so make sure you have enough storage on your PS4's 500 gigabyte hard drive or whatever hard drive you upgraded to. And uh, while the update is 185 megabytes, you will need 320 megabytes of free space in order to update it. And uh, if you want um, downloads to the actual files, uh, you can look in the description uh, down below for those. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna hit the X button, or actually touch the PlayStation button, and sign in, and Boom, we're on, go to my notifications, and you can see that it was installed a minute ago, so perfect. Um, anyway, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it'd be really helpful, um, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.